So are you aspired to make a career in the pharmaceutical industry? Congratulations. There are ample of opportunities available in the pharmaceutical industry and quality assurance and quality control provides a lot many opportunities. These two departments are very essential and important to deliver the desired quality of the product. So as a part of this video, we will try to understand you know, what the quality assurance uh, means, what quality control means and uh, what are the required skills uh, that you must have to create a career in these two different functions. Before I move on to the content, let me first introduce myself. My name is Bhaskar Napte. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub and I am on the mission to help the aspired professionals just like you to get a job in the pharmaceutical industry. In case if you want to learn more about the services and the courses provided by the Pharma Growth Hub, Growth Hub please find the details given in the description below. So let us begin with the discussion now. So the quality control is specifically focused on testing the product. It could be a raw material, it could be intermediate, it could be a finished goods. So the primary responsibility of a quality control professional is analyzing the product by different techniques like HPLC, gas chromatography, dissolution, UV spectroscopy and FTIR. So it is very important to realize that if you want to make a career into quality control, you must understand the working principles and operations of this different analytical technique. The focus is on ensuring that the product meets the required specifications and quality standards. So what is the end result going to be whether your product is meeting the specifications or not, whether it is having the desired quality or not. So you are going to understand like different tests like description, solubility, identification, assay, potency, relative substances, dissolution. Understand the results you got and then compare against the specification. If the results are within the spec, you can say that the batch is suitable for the consumption and then the batch will get released in the market. So this is the general role and focus of the quality control. But it is very important to realize the key responsibilities of the quality control chemist or the professional. The first one is equipment management. So calibrating and maintaining the lab instrument and equipment is your top priority. Because these instruments and equipments are very important to deliver the accurate and precise result. In case if you don't manage this, maintain the equipment instrument appropriately, the result generated may not be accurate, may not be precise and hence may not be true and you may not able to get the confidence on the result generated. So to make the result very certain, accurate, precise, you have to maintain the equipment instrument appropriately and there is something called as the preventive maintenance schedule you have to follow that and also you need to calibrate the instrument according to their calibration schedule. The second important key responsibility is data recording. Accurately documenting test results and ensuring data integrity. See the data integrity is one of the very important aspect of quality control. Not only quality control but all the pharmaceutical industry. And being into the analytical lab, you have to make sure that the data that you are generating is going to have all the stamp, the time stamp, date stamp, who has done, why that activity was done, all the details must be in the place. You need to understand whether I am able to meet the Alcoa++++ plus 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 principles. Understand the 21 CFR Part 11 compliance requirement if you are handling the electronic data or the records. So documenting the result is very important because what is the proof of uh, execution? What is the proof of analysis? That is the only document, isn't it? If you don't have the document, means it is not done or it was not tested. So you have to execute all the details, weighed, measured, prepared, whatever you are doing as a part of analysis, each and every step must and should be recorded and documented. So data recording is one of the herculean tasks of the quality control laboratory. Troubleshooting, identifying and addressing issues related to product quality during the testing phase. Now there may be some issues with the method that you are using. So how you are going to develop the method? What are the challenges you have to face? Whether the method is suitable for intended purpose? Whether suitable for your product or not? Who is going to confirm? You know, Especially it happens in the analytical research and development lab but it is also responsibility of the quality control chemist while doing the method transfer that is the method is really suitable for this product and can be functioned work in the quality control lab as well that is called as the method transfer activity you can also understand the method validation 
there are different uh, performance characteristics of the method validation according to your type of the testing it could be assay it could be related substances so what parameters need to be performed to confirm that there are no issues while using the same testing procedure for the product so troubleshooting method validation is one of the key responsibility of the quality control department in the pharma industry conducting tests perform various tests like chemical physical microbiological and samples to ensure they meet the specification this is the core activity of the quality control lab performing the test for the given product to confirm that they are within the spec or they are out of the spec what the skills and qualifications required so degree in chemistry biochemistry microbiology or related field is sufficient to get a job you need to have the strong analytical skill and technical skill to get a job in quality control and the third one is attention to detail and ability to work with precision attention to detail is very important because in case if there are any investigation to be conducted because of the product failure system failure how you are going to investigate without having the detail oriented as mindset so detail orientation attention to detail is very very important for quality control and you must be able to work with the precision and the accuracy that is the skill and qualifications required it is little bit laborious task but you will have a lot of satisfaction once you you know uh, because you are going to contribute in the delivering the right quality good in the market so that is the satisfaction you will get while working in the quality control lab let us understand from the quality assurance perspective now so quality assurance is actually responsible to build and design the systems such a way that the delivered product will be of desired quality they are more oriented about creating the systems procedures fundamentals the frameworks so that the manufacturing will done as expected so that the testing will happen as expected that is the role and responsibility of the quality assurance so qa is focused on ensuring that the quality systems are in place and that processes are followed to maintain the quality of the product throughout the manufacturing process so do you have the systems oriented knowledge do do you have the capability to map the systems understanding what are the risk possible and how you are going to mitigate those risk in the process in the system if yes then you are the better person to get a job in the quality assurance function the emphasis is on process control validation compliance with regulatory standard so what are the process you are following and how this process can de de deserve i mean how these processes are going to deliver the desired result that will talk about what controls are required onto the processes you know you have you need to have the blending time that is a time is the control you need to understand the, the pressure during the synthesis of the paper pressure is the control so those controls needs to be understood by yourself the end goal is delivering the desired product quality by understanding the process control validation there could be cleaning validation process validation method validation water system validation so you need to understand the requirement of the validation is in, in in addition to the qualification of the different instrument compliance with the regulatory standards so what are the requirements by the different uh, regulatory bodies like us fda ema ich you have to have the thorough knowledge about this compliance part the key responsibilities are going to be the first and foremost understanding the importance of quality system management or quality management systems developing and maintaining the quality systems and the procedures so qa is responsible for developing the system and implementing the system so you have to learn about manufacturing systems analytical systems all together and then develop the appropriate frameworks templates formats so that the execution becomes very easy and effective for manufacturing and quality control what about the regulatory compliance because ensuring compliance with the good manufacturing practices and other requirement is one of the key responsibility of the qa you are responsible for auditing you are responsible for uh, vendor qualification you are you are responsible for you know the uh, regulatory audits so it becomes very important for you to understand what are the requirements given by those different regulatory bodies usfd ema ich etc and implementing and ensuring that those requirements are been fulfilled during the operation process validations overseeing the validation of manufacturing processes it could be product validation that is process validation it could be a water system validation it could be a cleaning validation you are responsible to for ensuring all these process validations to confirm that the processes used are effective and suitable for delivering the desired quality product auditing conducting internal audits and managing external audits by regulatory bodies you are responsible for auditing 
all internal external third party vendor qualification all that is responsibility of the quality assurance you are going to become responsible for any audit failed or any successful audit from the regulatory authorities that is one of the key responsibility of the qa what are the skills and qualifications a degree in pharmacy chemistry or related field is sufficient knowledge of regulatory guidelines and systems is very very important and essential for uh, quality assurance uh, professional strong organizational and communication skills you are not only going to communicate communicate within the qa team but you are going to communicate across the organization in the cross functional teams quality control manufacturing ra engineering hr so you need to have this uh, cross uh, uh, communication strong communication skills with you convincing skills listening abilities are very important being part of the qa what is the conclusion at the end if you enjoy hands on laboratory work and have a keen eye for detail a career in qc might be more suitable for you are you a person who want to work in the lab you, you enjoy the company of the different instruments and equipment then you must go in the quality control if you are interested in process management regulatory compliance system level oversight then you are suitable for the quality assurance role see the choice between the two should be based on your personal interest skills and long term career goals both the departments gives a good amount of perk they are very important for pharmaceutical industry it is up to you uh, it is up to your interest right so don't get influenced by your friend understand where you are what what is your likings and dependent on to that develop those skills and requirements in case if you want to understand the courses provided by the pharma guru top please find the description below in this video enroll for the course and make yourself ready to get work in the pharmaceutical industry thank you so much